Hello everybody, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to more esports talk, the latest controversy involving Ninja, yet again, somewhat involving Tifu, mostly involving Dakotas as well, and even his wife, that being Ninja's wife, Jessica Blevins, also getting involved in the heated argument which actually broke out due to a tweet that actually trashed the game of Fortnite, that being Dakotas calling the game trash. We've been here before, we've seen many of streamers and pro players and content creators complain about this game, and I would say rightfully so in some cases, obviously though to the other point as well that Ninja's trying to make, this game did make a bunch of the people that do complain about that same game which albeit to their defense has had many issues over you know, ever since it actually came out now with that as well it was actually ninja response to that tweet of dakota's trash in the game saying hey maybe you could play a different game he also added tifu if you guys do not know the history of ninja and tifu bickering back and forth tifu is also kind of notorious for complaining about the game of fortnite all of this followed up by ninja's own personal video to give you guys a gist i'll play you a short clip as well he pretty much says that all these streamers these content creators, these players, they have more influence and power than they know, and if they're going to negatively trash talk a game and not give constructive feedback, what's the point of complaining? It helps no one. So here's what Ninja had to say to all those streamers and players out there. He did not name anyone in particular, but obviously directed towards a few like Dakotas and maybe a guy like Tifu. All the content creators out there, to kind of clear up my opinions and some of the statements I've made about people who are negative towards uh, video games or just anything in general especially when it is your entire essentially career and your job i don't think a lot of content creators i don't think a lot of influencers realize the power that they have um, and honestly the influence that they have uh, if you are not enjoying something about a video game it doesn't matter what game it is call of duty fortnite halo whatever you know there are positive ways to go about it expressing your opinion but when you take the time to go out of your way to post on social media and without, you know, full context or, or really explaining what you don't like about something. For example, just saying that, oh, the game effing sucks. Tweet it out. Boom. It's only hurting you. It's only hurting you. It's only hurting the game. It's, it doesn't help anyone. You're not going to get more viewers from that. You're, you, the game isn't going to get more players from that. People aren't going to see you talking shit about Call of Duty and then all of a sudden Call of Duty is going to get more players and more viewers. If anything, the only thing that's going to happen is this just going to take away from it? That's it. Nothing good happens from it at all. Except for maybe since we live in a rage culture where everyone wants to hop on board of negative shit, you just get a bunch of retweets and favorites and a bunch of likes. So if you're farming for that, then good for you. You know, if you're not enjoying something, tweet out some positive criticism and critiquing and what you, you know, don't just say the game sucks or don't just say you hate the update or don't just explain why, explain what you like to have back, you know, bring some positivity into it. And, and, and make, you know, the change for something good instead of just throwing out random hate. And all of this led to Dakota's actually blocking Ninja on Twitter. He gave his reason as well. He didn't want the 12-year-old Armory, of course, flashing his timeline and, of course, flooding him every time he called out Ninja or talked poorly of him. Ninja then screenshots that or captions that tweet, tweets it out and says Merry Christmas. And then even Turner, that being Tifu, his girlfriend, Corinna Cop, she gets involved as well and says, you know, if we're all talking about being polite, why would you then tweet that out? It doesn't seem very polite. Even Ninja then responds responding to that, saying thank you for insulting me, blah blah blah, we won't get into that bickering guys, but it goes on and on, Dakota's obviously blocking Ninja, Ninja then of course captioning that and showing the entire world, and well, the argument was well, it kind of stopped there. Other things that were mentioned, Jessica also getting involved herself. At one point in time, she compares Ninja's latest release of the Adidas line somewhat to that of Yeezy's. I will not talk about that here, guys. I'm not a sneakerhead. You guys can give your thoughts on that if you want. I would say, most importantly, where the argument really does end shortly after, only a few tweets, only a few clips out there as well of these two talking back and forth on stream indirectly about each other, and then it ends up with Dakota's tweet now this, which, by the way, is a Drake lyric, but still, it does hold up to the fact that apparently he might know something and could expose Ninja, supposedly if that's who he's talking about, which did prompt a Jessica, the wife of Ninja, reply and said, you have nothing. If you're talking about Ninja, you have zero to expose, but it all does beg the question, why would Dakotas tweet that out after all this happened and what does he know? I think the world wants to know. And again, I'm not trying to show my side here, guys. I'm not really sure there actually is a side of this argument. Both sides make very valid points. You know, to start with Ninja, he's been in this wheelhouse for quite some time. He's talked a lot about all those negative comments that many people have made about the game of Fortnite, which is not constructive, it's not helpful, and it doesn't actually benefit the game or the people who complain about it. To Dakota's point, though, you know, when it comes to actually trashing the game, he does love the game, he plays the game, it's a game that makes him his living, and so to try and correct it or actually complain about it and hope that it does correct 
effect itself, you know, albeit more oh, more power to him. And again, other points out there as well when it comes time for a guy like Ninja who has a brand, he has a presence outside of Fortnite, it can be easy for him to not trash, trash talk a game which his sole income no longer depends on. There are so many points, so many angles. At the end of the day, all these few tweets, these few clips out there, they seem pretty pointless. Although at the end of the day, I think the most important thing is Dakota's tweeting out the fact that he could expose someone, but he's going to keep it to himself. It just makes us all wonder and very, very curious, what does he know that, that we don't and why can't he say it? What do you guys think about this? Until next time, breaking down esports, gaming, drama, I guess every single day, all day long. I hope you guys all enjoy your holiday breaks, being nice to people. I'm going to try and be nice to people as well going forward. Until then, hope you guys all enjoy. I'll see you all back here sometime soon.